Buddy up. Buddy up. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Look at you. Dude, your head is roughly like three feet long. Oh, good boy. Oh my God. Look how thick his jaws are. Look at that. Oh, what a sweet bird! Oh, he's a beast! Come on up. Come on. Come on up. Look at that. He's such a beast. Look at him. And his eyes are so beautiful. Oh, you're that? A little bit of a bird. Oh. I mean, maybe where he's from, that's a compliment. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Chandler! Chandler! Oh, what? What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to my wildlife. I'm here at Gatorland. We're going to check out all the wildlife, but not by myself, with Savannah. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Come on, come on. Bowen and we've got some of the coolest crocodilians on the planet right here we have an American crocodile that's actually Ziggy's sibling yes right? Ziggy's Z yes Ziggy's sister or and or brother I'm not quite sure can't tell yet and there's another one as well uh, that we didn't bring out but uh, we love those guys they're eating like champs of course they're not as big as Ziggy are. yet but they're gonna get there eventually. Yeah, we can't wait. And then look over here, you got a Yukari Cayman? Yeah, this is bean or feijon. Feijon? Feijon is feijon. how you say it in Portuguese. And uh, and he's one of our favorite animals here too. We don't take him out too much, so we just brought him out to see you. Special little treat. Yep. The Yukari Cayman is actually the most southern found crocodilian on the planet. What is it? What is the most southern country you can find them in? Was it like Argentina? Probably, but he's definitely a fish eater and he has, the, look at his eyes, they're so gigantic. He's such a beautiful caiman, such a significant set of eyes on him for a caiman, those beautiful little tufts of skin on the top, and you can see those badass spots going along the jaws. What's really cool is the Yukari caiman, depending on what area they're found in, they have less or more spots. So this one's just got a few spots. Some of them look like jaguars with spots all over their body. But this is just the beginning. Because Savannah's <laughs> gonna be showing me all of Gatorland. I actually haven't been to Gatorland since I was like 13 years old. Look, here's a photo of when I was a little kid sitting on a gator out here, which I'm pretty sure my buddy over here with the mad mullet probably put me on that gator when I was I a little probably kid. did, I'm not gonna lie. Come on, introduce yourself, introduce yourself. I'm Danny, by the way. What's up? Danny. I don't have an animal, I have a tripod. <laughs> Danny's a wildlife handler. Danny, Danny can put himself in any situation, get out of any situation, put him in a pit full of crocs, he'll get out of it. We actually call him Danger Danny for that specific reason. My man, Danger Danny. Just bump over a camera and just got open. <laughs> All right, beautiful people, we're gonna go check out some more wildlife. I'll see you in a split. Bye. Bye. All right, Savannah, thank you. Wait, 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 what? Wait! <laughs> rescue got hit by a car and um, they did a surgery to try to repair it so they could release it but the surgery didn't work see how it's wing yeah the wings a little bit down yeah. it's little so she can fly a little bit through here but not very well that's why she has a walk up right there so she can walk up to wherever she needs to be that is awesome yeah she's pretty cool wait you think it's Nina? oh oh my god it's so nice. Oh my god, look at you, dude, you're huge! Buddy is our biggest Buddy. alligator in here, I think. What is he, 13 feet long? Yeah, at least. His head, his jowls are like a foot and a half, two feet wide. Look at that. That's for all the crushing power of the alligator. This alligator can have probably upwards of 3,000 pounds per square inch pressure in that big old mouth. 
Look at this no, big we can, we can natural enclosure. This is so cool. And it goes beyond these docks over there and opens up. That just shows you how much dedication there is here to have these animals naturally set up living their best lives. Living like this, they'll be breeding like crazy because you're not going to breed unless you're a happy alligator. And out here, I think they'll be the happiest. Right, Savannah? Um, we get a lot of eggs, so based on what you just said, yes. But the cool thing about this area is every alligator in here has his own territory. And then he has the women that hang out in his territory. So this area right here These is are always Buddy. ladies. So Buddy is here, and then he gets to go back here. We'll go back here and feed him later. That's his like bachelor pad area. He goes back you, there pretty frequently. Do you want to try to just do that now real quick? We while can we do it now. Buddy here? All right, so this is the back of the enclosure, right? Yeah, so we're going to sneak you it's in up. here. Okay. <laughs> so the last time we took a camera person back here, it wasn't a YouTube channel. It was, a, it was like a, I don't know what company they worked for. And they got run out super fast. Now, they didn't have alligator skills like you, so. <laughs> well, the good thing is I'm licensed. I can actually go in this enclosure, and it's not a big liability for them. Yes. Because if I get bit, well, I told the stay I knew what I was doing. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Let's do I'll it. take the bucket if you want. Look at this. This is whole sirloin given up from a restaurant, donated. Isn't that crazy? Donated top sirloin. So when uh, FWC actually did a confiscation and gave us the meat they found on a boat that was leaving Florida, and it was all octopus. So for like a month, every alligator in the park, every was crocodile eating was eating octopus. Now I love octopus. I think they're super smart. I think they're great. But and they're these, delicious. But they were already frozen, and so we got to feed octopus for days. They're loving it probably. Well, oh my gosh. And seeing it is like spaghetti. Hey, Savannah, this is sirloin, but you know what else they call it? What? Spicy meatball! <laughs> Come on, say it with me. It's a spicy <laughs> meatball! <laughs> say it with me, say it with me. Spicy meatball! Okay, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Don't scare the children, Chandler. I won't, I won't. I got in trouble the first time. Okay. Just like Savannah said, we want to go to the back area where the alligators aren't hanging out and slowly bring in a couple because, what, 130 alligators yeah. live there? 130 all alligators? Come. If they know we have the food back here, they're all going to rush us. So let's try and make sure we only have a few coming through. Or if they rush us, that's a party. Come on. I love this big natural setup. Ruth, check this out. Look at him. He's coming right up the creek. Come on, all buddy. Right, Chandler, call buddy. Come on, buddy. I got tenderloin and spicy meatballs. <laughs> Come on, buddy, look how big he is. So what do you, how old do you think he is? Well, like 60, 70 years old? At least. This park has been open for how long? 70 years, 73 70 years? years this year. Oh my God, and then they had adult alligators at the time, so I can't imagine how old he is. He, look at him, he's a Goliath. Buddy. You gotta say it in a really You gotta say it voice. real, you gotta have a, a lot of bass. Buddy, come on, buddy. There you go. How about the Toby, as James Billy would say. <laughs> come on, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I got the best beef around, buddy. Come on. Up, oh, up. Oh. Good boy. Oh my God, look how thick his jaws are. Look at that. That is insane. He's got a good set of teeth on him. You know, a lot of people will see older alligators and crocodiles and see that they don't have a lot of teeth sometimes. That's just because they live so long. An alligator can produce anywhere from 1,000 to over 2,000 teeth in its lifetime. They're constantly reproducing teeth because they're always breaking off in caps. Come on, buddy. But Come here. on! You're missing out on the opportunity of a lifetime. You miss out on 100% of the chances you don't take. Come on, buddy! Come on! Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Oh my god, look at your jowls. I just want to grab them and squeeze them and give you a kiss. Oh, now look, that's his girlfriend. Look, that's his girlfriends Gwen. are coming in. His girlfriend's really big. Her name's Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn, you look wonderful. And your <laughs> weight is perfect. Don't let anyone make you feel a certain way. I'm going to get some more tenderloin before yeah, they got think you. I'm a tenderloin. This is my vacation right here. Going up to Orlando to visit Savannah. Danger, Dan! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Buddy up! Buddy up! Come on! Come on! Good boy! Look at you! Dude, your head is roughly like three feet long. That is insane. What a beast of an alligator. And notice his nostrils are directly on top of those jaws. So he's easily camouflaged in the water, ambushing his prey. Because this is like a big frog with teeth, basically. What are you guys doing? Your girlfriend wants some food, too? Good girl. Oh, you're about to have the whole party now. Yeah, you Come on. are. Come on. Oh. Everyone gets a piece. Come on, buddy. Buddy, I got the best tenderloin in town. Come on, buddy. Don't miss out on the opportunity. Come on, buddy. Come on. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Savannah, thank you so much. This is yeah. just too cool. Buddy, don't. <laughs> buddy, come on, buddy, now. Come on, buddy. <laughs> you're welcome. No problem, buddy. Good alligator. Look at those osteoderms on the back. Holy smokes, that's how you know he's old. They're so protruding. It's like a canyon on his back. 
Ranger Dan, I just gotta say thank you for assisting me out here. Can I please see that mullet? Please show my people the mullet. I lost my mullet a couple months ago, and I, I, I would give you my mullet if I could right now. Good shave it off, I'll wear it. It's too hot. <laughs> Look at that mullet, up. baby! I'd, I'd grease it up for you, but my fingers are just too crazy. We'll just use the tenderloin, that's all. Okay, okay. This is too cool. What, what are we gonna do next? We're gonna go see the other side of the lake. So we have north side alligators and south side alligators. This yeah. is such a big so place. To we gotta go by now. compass! We gotta so, go by compass to figure out where we're so going. So you get to pick which one, which side you like best. This is the north side you're getting to see right now, and I want to show you this alligator. His name is Slasher. Now Slasher has a brother that's a south side alligator. So is there is there like a, a turf war south side yes. versus yes. north side? Absolutely. Oh really? Oh absolutely. What's up, brother? You from the north side? What's going on? Come on. The north side alligators are a lot more crazy. I think. Oh really? I think she likes the south side. I like the south side. Sounds like I'm going to north side for vacation. <laughs> how natural these enclosures are. They actually have birds nesting in the trees. So this is actually simulating what you'd see on the Everglades. A bunch of gators hanging out below the bird's nest waiting for chicks to fall out. You know, even though it's rough, see that pair of uh, babies right there, those chicks right there? Even though they look very content, sometimes when food is scarce and the mother can only provide food for one baby, the babies start to fight. When mom's not around, one of the babies might push the other one out. And therefore, the alligators are always waiting. It's rough stuff, but it's a part of nature. It's the Florida lifestyle. Craftsman! We need crafts. We have paper plates and paint. Craftsman! Craftsman! Stay right here, Danny. I'll be right back. Danger Danny and I will stay here. Keep an eye out. Is there a trick play around here? There he is. Wanna run real quick? Maybe maybe. Let's go. Let's go. Now when he comes up, we gotta be really quiet because he's gonna talk to you Chandler. He's gonna say, okay, should I introduce myself first? You introduce yourself, but let him address you first. Okay. okay. Craftsman, here. And that little guy beside him, that's Thrasher, the brother of the one you saw over there. Hey buddy. Good boy. Good boy. What's going on, buddy? Now he gets to eat. Good job. Oh, oh no! no! He's got a back up. <laughs> he yeah. usually does it louder, but I think he got distracted. Well, you Craftsman, I have this boat I have to put together. It fits in a bottle. I'm not good at this stuff. And I was wondering, I was just wondering if you could help me out. Who's your buddy? Oh, big boy. Nice Who's to meet buddy? you. Savannah was just telling me that Craftsman's been up all night because it's breeding season. You know, he's, he's been busy repopping. Like, that's how you play in the jewel. <laughs> that's cheating. Winner! Now my, my back's gonna hurt. It makes me feel lit. better. My, my ankle's a little busted, too. <laughs> I'm on top of Orlando! So, here's why I think this is one of the coolest things. So, you see all the alligators, right? This, this lake is about 15 acres long from Holy down smokes. there. Look at that soft shell. Oh, my goodness. That thing's huge. So, take a piece of meat. <laughs> this is this is how you guide ga alligators in a herd, right? We're in so herd. wherever you throw this meat is where they're all going to come. But then if you want to move them to the other side, you can throw meat over there. So whichever way you want to throw it, we want to end on this side because that's where we're going next. Okay, all right. So start throwing so, it that way? Yeah, far, far, far. Maybe I can throw a little bit farther than that. <laughs> oh, here they come. They come on, big alligator. Look at all of them. Holy smokes. Alligators in here, right? Yeah, just yes. alligators. Those soft-shell turtles. Biggest soft-shell turtles in the state. Yeah, we held the state record for really? biggest soft-shell turtle in the What's state the of Florida. Ah, uh, do you remember? It was like 80 pounds. Was yeah, 80, 80 pounds? pounds? I didn't even know that was possible. Yeah, do was you huge. want to take one home? Because if you catch one, you can take it home. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yo, 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 I, I feel like I Mike cheated. Just I feel like locked Mike arms cheated. and went down together. I don't know about that one. I feel like either Mike cheated or they're best friends. <laughs> Mike's now. always cheating. You guys lock arms at some point? Yeah, we may have hands for a moment. That's what it looked like. I gotta say, you're not just a great crocodilian handler, but you're quite the athlete. Wait a minute, say that again. 
I said, I am the winner. That's not what he said. That's not what he said. It was what did, a tie. What did you say? It was a tie. I was like, you race me to the main ball. He's too tired. Like, like, he's going to like hurt his knees and ankles and everything. <laughs> I mean, he's so gangly. Everything kind of goes everywhere. He's already Look, at he's adventure gone. hour. I haven't worked out forever. I got all the needles now. <laughs> Oh. I was wondering why this thing got so heavy. But here's the thing. That's our accessible zip line. As far as we know, that's the only handicap accessible zip line. I've never even heard of a handicap yeah, so, accessible zip line. So if zip you line. have lower extremity difficulties and you want to do something adventurous, you can zip line. That's over amazing. Alligator. So guys, if you're ever in Florida, come visit Gatorland. You yes. can not just get an amazing experience, but they make it so everyone can enjoy this place. Oh, heck yeah. Specifically with zip lines like that. This is Jaws. He's my best buddy. Yeah? What's he, up, Jaws? He's a big alligator. He is a big alligator. He's an old alligator. He's not very, he's not very big, but what he lacks in size, he makes up for in spirit. Yeah. He is the most spirited alligator at Gatorland. Okay. Hi, buddy. Come on. What's going on, buddy? Come on, buddy. Come over here and see Chandler. Come on. What's up, dude? Come here. Oh, you're a survivor. <laughs> Look at you. Look at him. Come on, buddy. I got you something to eat. You've earned your I part of the pond, you, huh? That is an old alligator. You know they're old when their eyes are close to the skull like that. They've been around for a long time. Ooh, nice big piece wait, of Wait, wait, wait. You make him stand up. And then you you want to stand up? He All likes right. to chase. He likes to chase and he likes to fight. We'll give him a little exercise. He's not the biggest or the fastest. Josh, get up. A little Josh, bit of enrichment up. for the alligator. You want some food? Josh, get up here. You want the... Get up here. A little spice? Ooh, good boy. <laughs> Good, you hear that? He's going, mm. yeah, that's tasty. Dre, want some food? Yeah, go Jaws. There you go, good boy. Good boy. He's missing toes. Yeah, he's like, a fighter. Look, look how his tail. big his back foot is. Holy smokes. His back foot is the size of Shaq's hand. One more? Good boy. That's awesome, he's just hanging out. Waiting for he shows up. Oh my God, look at all this. He's the whole crowd. He's always, he's the best. He's the best. So I think this is Marcus. Yeah. He's look at all these alligators. Around 130 on. alligators in this pond alone. That is insane. <laughs> you guys will look happy. Nice to meet you, Chandler. Nice to meet you, Chandler. You, you can call me Mr. Wild. Hello. There's Thrasher coming to say hey, hi. There's Thrasher. Oh, my God, is he? He's such a cute little alligator. You've got the cutest. Thrasher does not miss a meal derpiest little face. <laughs> so a lot of our animals are rescues or they come from facilities that close down so we don't really know all of their backstory. We just know Thrasher and Slasher came at the same time. He has a teeny tiny head but a big fat body. Oh, but yeah. everybody loves him. <laughs> What's up dude? That's Gannon. How's mating season been for you boys, huh? <laughs> <laughs> me and, eh, no, don't ask me, not so much. Slasher, Thrasher, Dancer, Prancer, you guys all ready? Good boy. Oh, Dan. Good boy. Oh, watch his leg. Good job. Hey, guess who I am? Guess who I am? <laughs> Chris Pratt. Duck, 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 duck. Goose, goose. So Chandler, these are the south side alligators. This is south side. As opposed to the north side, which okay, you just so saw. These are all the edgy alligators. I mean, you really got to pick a team. You got to pick north side. Now. That's that's your job. By the end team? of the day, yeah. you got to pick a team. On north side, she's south side. But you see how they represented right here. So up around North I'm area. from South Florida. I'm going South Side. Woo woo! South side. Come on. South Side! South side. Come on. South Side! Come on. Lumeria! <laughs> my man, my man, Slasher and Thrasher. <laughs> it's a duo, but I just do most of the talking. They do the hissing. Look at that. Come look at his mouth. Look at the inside. Look at that. Oh. Notice, well not that close, but notice how you don't see any opening in the back of the throat. They have this valve called a palatal valve, and it keeps water from rushing into the lungs when they're grabbing prey underneath the water's surface. When he needs to swallow food in the water, he has to come above the surface or he'll drown. So that's why you don't ever see an opening down to the throat. And if you do see an opening down to the throat, you're way too close and comfortable with an alligator. This has been too cool, Savannah. I can't thank you enough. Oh, we got way more stuff to do. Really? Yeah. We got zip line, we got... We got zip line, we got cats. Uh, we'll go see our serval and our bobcat. We have uh, Mike's going to take you to see the Nile crocodiles in the back. Mike, 
You're gonna take me to see the Nile crocodiles? Yeah, it looks good. I cleaned them this morning, so we're ready to go. And we'll go see Salty Girl, who lived at your friend Fred's. We'll go see if she'll come Ooh, out and eat. Grandpa Fred's saltwater crocodile's actually here. They're gonna pair it up with another Salty, so they can make some little salty babies. Salty babies. But I think uh, pretty soon we're gonna go see the Nile crocs. Yes. And as you know, they will annihilate you. <laughs> Probably not. Guys, look how cool this is. We've seen albino alligators before, but this is a big leucistic alligator. What is this guy, like 10 foot long? He's probably about 11 or so, I'd say. Holy smokes, he's a beast of his tail. Hey, buddy. Wow, a real life white dragon. Is he hungry? He might be. He's We're gonna turn him around. He was just sleeping, so. <laughs> say hi. Where you go, buddy? So he, unlike an albino, has a little bit of regular alligator coloring on his face. Those splotches that you see, that's just regular oh, color. Bless you. That's his girlfriend, Ashley. She's huge, she right? She looks plump. Yeah, she's you about to lay some eggs. eggs. Yes. Yeah. That is too cool. Look, look at how beautiful this alligator is. Oh, look at that. Oh, you're waiting now, right? Come on. Hey, bud. Asleep. Oh, that's a big old alligator. Look at the jowls on his neck. Just want to squish him. We're going to go feed Trace Sauce, the leucistic alligator. Look at this. Oh. Ashley! I was being hey, nice. Oh his eyes are so beautiful. Look at his eyes. Come on, Trace Sauce. Come on. Good boy. He loves his spicy meatball. Oh, that's a spicy meatball, Trace Sauce. <laughs> Can you see his eye? His eye is so... Let me get that camera real quick. Yeah, well, and I'm going to get a shot of that beautiful eye. Look at that eye. Oh no, he's closing it. You see that slit of flesh going right over? That's called a nictitating membrane. It protects the eyes. And it also there acts it as a pair of goggles underneath the water. Look how beautiful those blue eyes are. What do you think, Danger Dan? It's my, my buddy right here. It's my favorite one. That is a real good buddy right there. Hey, can I get a ski you? A what? A ski you. How do I do that? Ski you! Ski you! Can I get a ski you? Ski you! Ski you! Have you ever heard the song Big Alligator by James Billy? Maybe. Oh, sometime when, when we can, I'm going to show you that song. It's a great song. Okay. If you work with gators, you got to know about it. Okay. But what song I really love? What? If we're doing songs is... What? Take me on your buggy. Take me, take, take me, me on, on your buggy. Yeah, take, take me, me on, on your buggy. buggy. What about Gator Walk? They, no, I don't know that one. You don't know Gator Walk? Mm -mm. Oh. I do know though. They be like, shoot. What? what? Can you take me on your buggy? <laughs> they, oh, I forgot the rest of it. Shoe's gonna kill me now. I got some songs to share with you. You got some songs it's to share the with same, me. It's the same band that does uh, Flirting with Disaster. I'm traveling down the road and I'm flirting with disaster. Okay. How do you spell that? I'm gonna put it in my notes. But Flirting. It's called, it's called Gator with Country. Disaster. How do you spell Gator? I spell flirting. Flirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's Blondie, a 40-year-old Nile crocodile that's been living here at Gatorland for the longest time. And she's actually guarding a nest. So Savannah's keeping watch right now. In a split second, this crocodile will be the most defensive mother on the planet. That's what we gotta be wary of. But what we wanna see is her boyfriend, Sultan, who's a big crocodile trained to go up on that rock right over there. And Mike's gonna bring him out. Here, I'm gonna take the camera real take quick. It. And I'm gonna show you guys what he's got going on over here. There you go. Look at this. What a beast of an owl crocodile. Salty, come here, bud. Salty, hey, come here, bud. Oh, you don't make me go over there. There you are. How old is he? I don't know. If I'm going to guess, I'm going to say he's around 50-ish. Oh, he's hey, a boy. beast. Come on up. Come on. Come on up. Look at that. Salty, come on. Come on. Hey, hey. Salty, come on. Come on, you gotta go. Turn the bus, man. Turn the bus. <laughs> oh hey, my goodness. Turn the bus. Come on. What is he, like a 12 foot Nile? Yeah, ish. There you go. Ooh, big boy. There you go. He said, I knew you, it was just your hand. All right, sit still. Hold, don't climb all the way up, you'll fall. You a good boy? Oh, he's a good boy. He's like, yes, I am. Yes, I am a good boy. 
There you go. Good boy. This is incredible. Mike's been training this crocodile for how long? Uh, like 20 years. 20 years of dedication to training this crocodile to be station trained right here on this rock for the public. What an awesome yeah, educational cool. outreach show. This crocodile loves chin scratches, right? He does, but I'm gonna let you feed him for a few minutes. No way. Yeah. Oh my God, this is too but cool. He'll kind of sit there and pose for you. Good boy. Good boy. You're just too sweet. Look at that. A huge 12 foot an hour crocodile, probably weighing around six, 700 pounds. Yeah, at least. A beast of a crocodile. He's got a little bit of a waistline. Yeah, he's, he's a little thick, but he's perfect. Look at those arms. You know, it's crazy to think that this crocodile out in the wild could actually get upwards to 18 feet long. Right. Oh, look at this. He oh. just, he's he's so relaxed with you, he just created his own Nile River. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> That, that is insane. Hey man, what kind of manners is that? Good boy. What are you doing? Good boy. That is just too cool. This is usually his station. He'll come and do this, and then you know you feed him a couple of times, and then a lot of times you just start start scratching him right here, and he'll start lifting his chin up. That is just too cool. So hey, kind of like me goes. working with Ziggy, the American crocodile, touching her all over, getting her desensitized to my touch, so making it easier up, and so safer to work. Because he wants it farther down. Oh. His chin up. Oh, good and with all those special sensory organs on each and oh. every scale of the body, that feels amazing yeah, to the crocodile. Look, Look at him. this crocodile. He's so, an ancient beast. He starts pushing down on my hand too if he wants it harder. He's such a beast. Look at him. And his eyes are so beautiful. Oh, you're oh, that. A little bit of a burp. Oh. I mean, <laughs> maybe where he's from, that's a compliment. Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah, right. To be able to work with one of the largest crocodile species on the planet, like yeah. it's an alligator. That's incredible. So cool. Props to you, Mike. Uh, it's mostly him. I mean, it's a recipe. You gotta get the right animal in the right environment, the right people. And the right keeper. Yeah, it's a it's a recipe, so. Look at that. Let's get a shot like that. Ah, this is too cool. So what else can you tell me about him? I mean, his demeanor is, again, uh, what sets him apart. I mean, obviously, he's all muscle. He can do a lot of, a lot of quick and scary things, but. His demeanor is so laid back and he's so accustomed to being uh, in this environment that he lets us do a lot of things that normal crocodiles won't let you do. Yeah, there's like, very few now crocs I've seen that will let you get this close. Yeah, I mean, he'll, uh, he has his days. We all <laughs> have our days, you know, yeah. He has his days. This morning when we were cleaning the pen, he didn't particularly like me being in his water yeah, and was like, a little out. nasty. But, uh, you know, he tolerates us for a little bit in there and lets us get our job done and then you know, later in the afternoon, he'll come up and play with us. This is incredible. To have a now crocodile sit here on the rock, station train, not move and act like a statue, just be able to plop some food in his mouth is incredible. This is one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had with yeah. a crocodile. And I gotta say thank you to he's a good Mike and Savannah for letting me come out here and experience it. Look, he's smooching a now crocodile. Did you kiss him again? That's insane. You're gonna get in trouble. People in Africa would see this and go, no, thank you. That that is insane. Well, hopefully, people around the world will see this video and realize that crocs aren't mindless killing machines. And they're actually intelligent, wonderful animals. Yeah, but don't try and kiss them. Don't try and kiss them, though. That's <laughs> definitely a big no-no. Yeah. If you guys want to come out and check out Gatorland, come out to Orlando, Florida. Check out these beautiful animals. They have zip lines. They have interactions with all different types of animals. This is an amazing place open for the public. Check out Gatorland. Links below. Also, don't forget to check us out on Patreon for exclusive content not seen anywhere else. And don't forget to get your Chandler's Wildlife merchandise. I'll see you on the next one. Stay beautiful. Stay safe. Mainly stay safe. Follow your dreams and stay passionate. I'll see you on the next one. Duck, duck, <laughs> duck, duck, goose, goose. <laughs>